Welcome to the Square Takeoff How-To Video Series. In today's video, we're going to cover how to build a basic assembly within the software. Let's get started. When you're within the program, you want to simply go to your template section here. Located within the templates, you can go through and create an assembly. To get started, first you may need to add a new template. By simply selecting Add New Template, you can enter a template name, a description, and also select the user group that you would like to use. For most users, the user group will be the default group. Once you do that, you can go ahead and simply select Save. We do, however, have one here that we're going to go ahead and use. For this example, we're going to use the My Templates that we've already created. Within here, you can see that we have a folder called Takeoff Items Only. We can also go ahead and add additional folders. For today's demonstration, we're going to create a framing assembly. Let's get started. Once we select the plus sign, we're going to go ahead and select folder. Within here, we're going to provide a name for this folder. And for this example, I'm going to simply say framing assembly. Let's go ahead and save. Now, within that folder, we can simply go ahead and we can select the plus sign. Once we do that, we have an option whether we'd like to add another folder or simply add an assembly. For this example, let's go ahead and select assembly. Once we select assembly, we can select one of three of the measurement items, whether we would like to do this via area, linear, or count. For this example, we're gonna go ahead and do this via linear. Let's select it. Once we select linear, we'll see that it pops up linear name. Let's go ahead and say that we would like to go ahead and provide this as an exterior framed wall. Within here, we can once again give this a name. We can now go ahead and select the type of linear that we would do. And for this example, we're gonna select standard linear. We can also provide a width of the line that will be drawn on the blueprint. Next, we'll go ahead and select a color. We can also enter a price per, per linear foot if we wanted to. We'll go ahead and select transparency. And let's go ahead and raise this up so we can see this a little bit more. And now let's uh, start. If we expand our framing assembly folder, you'll see that you have the exterior framed wall. From here, we can use this just to capture a linear footage. Now, if we would like to add components to this item, we can simply select the black plus sign. Once we do that, we can go ahead and add a part. From here, we're gonna go ahead and search our part catalog. We're gonna first go to part type as material. We're gonna go ahead and start to type in the item that we would like to look for. For this example, let's say we wanna go with a two by four by 16 bottom plate. Once I enter this in, I can simply look through the description and find the item that I want. For this example, I wanna do a bottom standard plate. Once we select this, we can go ahead and hit save and close. We can now go ahead and continue to add items to this. So let's hit the plus sign again, part type, and let's say that we wanna do a two by four by 92, pre-cut stud, select it, hit save, hit close. And we could just continue this until we have everything that we'd want. Lastly, let's go ahead and add some sheathing to this. Once again, let's look and locate the correct one. We're looking for wall sheathing here. Simply hit save and hit close. And now let's go ahead and go into the job and use this template to measure our item. Now that we're within the job that we would like to measure, we can go ahead and select the template section, select my templates, select the exterior framed wall, and then just simply hit the play button. From here, you'll be in drawing mode where you can address any questions you like within the variable screen, and then just simply go ahead and measure. It's just that simple. Thank you for watching today's video. 